Mr. Lubinda, as we get to uh, conclude, just away from the topic, uh, some PF members have had the law visit them due to uh, past incidences. How are you as a party dealing with the constant scrutiny of these PF members? We're appealing to the Zambian people to open their eyes and to have discerning hearts. For them to question this rampant uh, calling out of members of one particular political party for matters and offenses that they alleged to have committed seven years ago in some cases. And also, I would like to appeal to the Zambian people to pay attention to the manner in which these matters are being handled by the police. Point in the case in point is Davis uh, Chama, detained here in Lusaka, transported by night to Sesheke, kept in Livingston for a night or two, and then finally taken to Sesheke, kept in Sesheke for more than 12 days before being presented to a court of law. And in that process, denied police bond on a bailable offense. And then came Malangi. Malangi held in regional police post, denied bond because the Drug Enforcement Commission who arrested him are demanding from him that he produces the white book of his aircraft and that is the only basis on which they would hand, uh, give him bond. When have we ever had such application of the law in the country? Another case in point, Stephen Campiongo picked up here in Lusaka warned and cautioned here in Lusaka, denied bond, kept by the police, with the police offering that they're going to deliver him to Chinsali for him to go and be arrested in Chinsali. When has the police ever become a voluntary hotel where it just gets people and tells them, we we'll accommodate you here against your will, give you transport against your will? As though Campiongo refused to appear to present himself to the police in Chinsali. Obviously, what would have expected if the rule of law was being applied is that the police would have given him a call out for him to present himself to the police in Chinsali rather than them unnecessarily holding him the whole night and offering him transport to go to Chinsali as though he told them that he doesn't have the means of transport to go to Chinsali. What kind of application of the law is this? And to deny Kampiongo an opportunity to be visited by his friends and relatives is he facing treason? The man is facing a charge that occurred some five, six years ago, and he has not been charged yet. He has not been arrested, but he's been kept in detention and denied access by his friends and relatives. I would like to call upon Zambians to start to ask whether this is why they voted out the patriotic front and voted in. Haga in the and his team. Is this what they wanted? Did they ask that President Haga Inde should come and start harassing opponents to the extent that we're being harassed? A lot of our people are being called to go and prove ownership of their own property. Some people have been called to the police and they've been told, can you prove that this car is your car? You and me and any citizen knows very well that if you want to know the ownership of a motor vehicle, all you do is you get the license plate, you get the number plate, go to Ratsa, and Ratsa will tell you who the owner of that vehicle is. In this country, we are reversing the rule of law. Now, people have to start pleading that they are innocent. Instead of them being charged and tried and proven guilty, now people have to start to prove themselves innocent. I wonder what kind of application of law this is. And President Haga, in the each time he opens his mouth, he's talking about rule of law. Is this the rule of law? Are the police really following what the president is saying about the rule of law? Are the people around the president true to their word when they talk about maintaining a democracy? We know for a fact that all these maneuvers are aiming only at one thing, the destruction of opposition in Zambia, particularly the major opposition political party. We have seen how many of our members of parliament have been dragged in and out of police stations. You have seen how many members of the leadership of the Patriotic Front have been taken in and out of police. However, you have not recorded 
the number of junior members of the Patriotic Front, our cadres, who are being harassed every day and every night. We have a lot of cases of people, our junior officers, members of the lower structures of the party, who are being dragged into police stations <coughs> on allegations of offenses that occurred seven years ago. Some of these matters are matters that were already handled by the police and closed. And yet our people are being called back to go and answer these charges. 